Hey guys, how you doing today? Welcome to my kitchen. This is Deborah's Delicious Dishes and welcome you into my kitchen for a kitchen tour. This is where it all goes down. Now when you first come in, you go down that little one step. But before we go into the kitchen, I'm going to show you something I ordered from Amazon today. It's a slim chef shelf. And um... It's slim and portable and it moves around. So I wanted this to go into my kitchen because I wanted a display case for my coffees and my teas and my cocoa. So I've been dying to get this for like ever. So anyway, as I said, when you come in, you go down that first step. That's the entryway to the kitchen on the side of the refrigerator. Yeah, I'm telling you everything. I have my Swiffer and then I have the pads that go on the bottom. And then there's the little... um grabber that when you need some from off the top shelves now i'm showing you the refrigerator it has all the family pictures on them my chefs different sayings about me shopping because i am a shopaholic and um on top i carry all my uh juicers blenders luna's uh snacks then we have the cereal then i'm showing you over here the back door and then i have chefs all over the door I have an all night open sign. Then me and my mom was always into roosters. So I got the rooster clock and the roosters. And then I have all my chefs. And then you can see more um, roosters on the wall. than some chefs on the table, chef tablecloth. That's some flowers my grandkids gave me for Valentine's Day. They died, poor little thing. And Nyla said, well, why didn't you put more water in? <laughs> then I have a good eat sign. You remember the... Uh, Show from the Food Net, uh, Network with Alton Brown. I love that. So I got that little sign. Then this is very dear to my heart. It was considered me, my three boys, and my only daughter. Um, and we used to have that over our table when I was married. And, you know, it just brought back memories for home, you know, with the family sitting down, eating, conversating. Anyway, so now I'm showing you the two black chairs I have right there. I have chair covers on them because I always change the covers of the chairs anyway. It's crazy. But anyway, I have a bench right there for the grand girls. That's my um, work apron when I used to do my catering. You know, I can't do it too much now because of my back and all the other illnesses. Then I have my bread uh, hold over there. Then I have a conventional oven. Then under there is my little small mini fridge. Then I have all my things right here on my uh, microwave cart. I got my rice in those containers down there, the three big white ones, then my oils. Then I have my flour, sugar, macaroni, brown sugar back there. My breadcrumbs is with the uh, purple uh, top. Then this microwave. Now, let me tell you about this. I'm sorry the glare is in the shining in front of it. Anyway. I ordered this microwave. This is a three-time thing. Um, the first time I got it, I ordered it from Jenny's, and someone stole it that was delivering it. So then I called Jenny's, explained to them, showed them it never came. They lied and said, the back door, we don't have a back door. We got a sad side door. So anyway, they knew it was a hoax, so they sent me another one. So then I let my grandchildren use it for this experiment. They was making candles, and they blew it out. So my oldest son brought me another one. Three times is a charm. If something happened to it this time, I'm done with that retro microwave. Up here, I have my um, Angry Mama, which goes in a microwave where Vinica cleans your microwave. I have my little chef um, menu chalkboard right there. My little London stuff. That's a salt and pepper shaker. Then I have all my Ziploc bags, parchment paper, saran wrap, all that fall up there. Then I'm showing you my chef curtains. Then over here is the. Um, that's my new stove I got. They damaged it when they brought it in. They hit it. I told them to take the door off my apartment. They didn't listen to a woman, and I got a dent on my stove. But that's okay. I'm happy for it. I love it. It's better than the eyesore I had, which it did its purpose, too. This is a board that my son brought me. Deborah's delicious. This is, that's my cup. Then that's my um, coffee maker. And then I have um, my coffee pods under the shelf. The shelf. And um, under here, what am I showing you? Oh, that's my knife holder set. And then I have all my cups and I have my chefs on the back of the wall. I did that. I put the little things up when I first moved here and put the chefs up there because I was so into chefs. Then I have all chefs on this cabinet. And then I have on um, countertop. And then I have my 
another caddy back there with all my utensils. Salt and pepper shakers, all types of chefs back there. Then here I'm showing, oh yeah, my cup holder, all types of cups, even chef cups. Yeah, when I do something, I go all out. Is this that OCD? <laughs> then I have my knife holder right there. And then I think I'm going to pan up the wall and show you my other chefs. And then this is the Bless the Kitchen little thing. I think I got that from Dollar Tree. Then I have my Echo Show where I listen to my music when I'm cooking and, you know, movies or YouTube. Then I have here my chef uh, hanger right there. And then I have my Marilyn Monroe because I'm so crazy over her. And I have her apron and her pot holders. Then I have some more chefs. And that's a chef um, plaque I got that says Mama Deb's Kitchen. Um, then here is what I brought from uh, Amazon today. I'm going to show you that. That's that slimline shelf that you saw me putting together well you didn't see me putting together but I put it together so on the top of it I thought it was so cute because it's so nice and slim and it's portable it moves it rolls so I have my coffee pots on top then I have the let me see how I'm doing this now I'm doing a voiceover then I have my uh, Swiss Miss Cocoa there then I have my little coffee girl right there the gnome then I have the coffee cups down on the second shelf is tea I have lip cream tea in that jar, and then I have all types of crystal light and the other type of uh, peppermint tea, then coffee pods, then at, oh, tea right there, tea pods, and then on the bottom, I have coffee pods and tea. Got my onion and pepper trays, I mean, boxes. Now I'm going to show you my little concoction on the floor. It sits on uh, my little cooker that I used to have there. It's opened up, and I used to cook on that back in the day. When I did my videos. So I have the pots that I use all the time inside of there in size order. And then I have my big bowl that I do my bacon and you know, I cook my, uh, mix my, my mixing bowl. So then I have my two grills back there as well. The griddles. I have a plain one. Then I have the ridges one. Now this is something I brought from Amazon today is one of them, uh, portable, um, uh, portable industrial cookers. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm just showing you the tray again. I'm so in love with it, guys. It's so compact and small. Then I was showing you, um, just panning around, showing you things before I end the video. Yeah, and I was just showing you the things that I have in the window, my little Clorox wipes and different things. It says bathroom cleaner, but it got kitchen cleaner in it. And um, then that's my can opener that I love. And I say you can buy every can opener you want in the world. The little ones that go around the can, which I'm pulling out the drawer because I was a gadget queen. All this crap, they serve a purpose for a minute. And then, you know, even the little portable one, right? Handheld one. But nothing beats the electrical one. <laughs> so all that stuff is just piling up in drawers and for what? But anyway, you live and you learn, right? So now I'm showing you my other utensil caddy. And then I have my uh, spoon, fork, and knife caddy. And that's the dish rack, of course. Then I'm showing my cookie contain uh, holder. And then uh, all my chefs are in the back of that wall. I brought these cute little chefs from this store in Elizabeth, New Jersey. They used to have every type of chef you wanted. And uh, they went out of business. But anyway, there's all my spices up there. Then I'm showing my um, small chopper, my um, slow cooker, the... KitchenAid, the toaster, the air fryer, the George Foreman grill, and the Instapot. And then I was showing the um, things where you put your pots on so it won't burn up your uh, counters. Then I have my two chairs right here. Now, when I didn't have a lot of that stuff up there, or when company come, we'll sit up there and eat. And then that's my little um, stool that I stand up on when I can, you know, to reach things because of 
me having a herniated disc in my back and the arthritis in my back is hard for your girl to stretch. So my sons don't like me to get up there, but you know, when I'm in the kitchen by myself, sometime I'll do it. So it is what it is. And I'm just panning around, showing you everything. Um, the girls, I brought that bench for my grandbabies because they always used to sit in the chairs, right? And want to fight and want to be on one side. I want to sit in the chair. I said, you know what? Grandma going to stop that. I'm going to put a bench here and then all oh, y'all yeah, can sit up there. <laughs> so uh, they love it. They love to sit together now. So now go figure before you used to fight each other when you had to choose a chair. Now you got a bench and you all want to be on top of each other. But that's grandkids where he isn't. But I love my space, guys. Some people might think it's cluttered, but it's clean. And I deal with it and I do with it what I can. Um, this is not my house. This is an apartment. I live on the second and the third floor. I love it. They let me do what I want to do as far as like putting stuff up and decorating. So my uh, stepdaughter was telling me, she said, Mom, when you leave here, your spirit going to be all over this house. I've been here 17 years. But um, I love it and I make do with it. And I'm just showing the pots and pans again. That's all my pots that I utilize frequently. And then that's my cake pan back then, all my uh, covers that used to go on top of my stove when I had the other stove and my grills are on the back of the, my griddles are on the back of the wall. And that's the new thing. I brought the Morla, um portable stove top. So I just love this little um, portable slimline shelf. So what I did guys, um, I had put all the links in my description but that video came out mucky because my battery was battery was running dead so i had to do the whole video over that's why the voice is a little off from what i'm saying and i had to get the other words off of it take the other voice of it so then i had to record it over and do the video over and do the words over so you might see it out a little sequence but anyway if i don't have it in the descriptions then i will put a screenshot of the link rapid therm portable induction cook, uh, cooktop is fast faster cleaner and safer cooking is four preset programs eight temperature power lever levels automatic pot detection timer function automatic turn off i like that child safety lock energy efficient cooking solution perfect for camping cottage uh cottages i thought that was college cottage and office i think they meant to say um College, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I like it because it's digital. And like I said, it has the automatic lock and it's touchscreen. I like it. Thank you, guys. Just trying to make it a little better for me, trying to get this YouTube thing down because, you know, I'm no longer working. So I'm just trying to do it. You probably get tired of me putting up videos, but I got to do what I got to do. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you. Now, guys, I'm showing you the Slim Portable Shelf. I love it. Um, then I'm just panning. Well, I'm just showing you the sink and the soap. Thank you guys for joining me. Remember, the links will be in the description. If not, it'll be at the end of this video.